Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamped AF. This week, it's a little something different. So look at the sparkle from those rhinestones. So this week, I am going to show you how to make this cute little box for a Hershey candy cane bar. Hershey's candy cane chocolate bar. How stinking cute is this? I saw this chocolate bar and I'm like, oh my goodness, so many possibilities. And I sat down and made this today and figured I would share that as this week's video. A little bit of a glue worm there, but let's get our craft on and I'll show you how I did this. So I've got my instructions scribbled here on a piece of grid paper, so I'm just gonna keep that handy. There's not a whole lot that we need for this project. Obviously you need to have the candy cane chocolate bar. It just won't work without it, I'm sorry. You need the sweetest time dies and then the little treats stamp set and I'm sorry to bring in two like that but it just it, it is what it is it wasn't going to be the same without it so we need a piece of whisper white cardstock and a piece of poppy parade cardstock and usually when you see a chocolate bar wrap like this it is made with DSP because it's a little bit softer let me tell you the reason it's not DSP the reason it's not DSP is because this is Poppy Parade. And when you look at all of the different holiday papers from Stampin' Up, Poppy Parade doesn't happen to be in a lot of them. Real red, real red, no red. Poppy Parade, although when I held it up to that, it didn't really look like it and nothing really went. I mean, you could make it work. You definitely could make it work. But the paper needs to be bigger than the DSP. Red foil, real red and cherry cobbler, real red, real red, real red, real red. You get the gist, right? So there isn't a whole lot of Poppy Parade and what there was for Poppy Parade just wasn't going to work. So I thought, okay, forget it. We will just make this plain and we'll let the candy canes do the talking on the front. We're going to do our best to try and avoid that little glue worm there. Okay, so let's bring in our paper trimmer and get this going. So both pieces need to be, you know what, let's do one at a time. I don't want to confuse things. So the box is the Whisper White. You could reverse it. It really, it probably doesn't matter which is which, as long as you have red and white. Now there's one thing I'm gonna do differently this time, and that is to use adhesive sheet for the candy cane because I had to sit and glue little pieces on and I don't wanna do that this time. Okay, so for the box, we need it to be five and five eighths by six and one eighth. So here is our, You know what, either way, we're not, it's not half of a sheet. So let's do five and five eighths. There's not much of a difference. So we can keep that as a scrap. And then we want to do six and an eighth. And it's kind of awkward there because it's right at the little join there. So we can keep this for our little tag. So on this side, the sixth and one eighth, we are just doing one score. I'm gonna move my cutting blade down because I don't want to accidentally cut it. So at five and three quarters, we are going to score it one time. Now we're going to turn it to the five and five eighths side and we're going to score at three eighths. And then we're gonna turn it around. Trying to get the three eighths on this side is a little tricky. So I go on the other side. So two and five eighths, three inches, and then five and a quarter. And I will put these measurements in the description below. So there you can see the basis of our box. So let's do our puppy parade and then we'll get the trimmer right out of here. So we need this to be five and five eighths as well. So let's do that on this side. Keep that for something else. Unfortunately, you can only get one of these boxes out of each sheet. You'll have a fair size scrap left, but not enough for two, unfortunately. Okay, and then this one is at six inches. 
And then on this one, we're only doing the scoring on the six inch side. So let's park that cutting blade. And again, we are doing three eighths. And I found there's actually a little bit of wiggle room in here. You probably don't need to do three eighths, but I didn't want it to be so tight that the recipient couldn't get that out there. And I thought about putting a ribbon and making it like a slider, but because this tag sticks out, I thought that was fine. And it also shows why it's red and white on the outside. So I liked it. If you want to add ribbon, by all means, but you're probably going to run into the same issue with the whole poppy parade versus real red thing, because I only had one poppy parade and that is the one with gold on the outside. And to me, it, it just didn't work. Okay, so we've got three eights. Now we need two and five eights. Sorry, these are all eights, three eights, five eights, and then three inches. So we've got three eights, two and five eights, and then three. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to move our trimmer out, and I want to get my sweetest time die out of here. These are all extra pieces. So I want to get this piece. I'm going to put some adhesive sheet on here before I forget, but if you notice, Half of this cuts and half doesn't. So the side that cuts is the one that has, I don't know if you, how well you can see this, but this line here, that's the cutting line. So we want it to be like this, because if we do it the other way, we're going to have just this left. We're going to have lost all of our candy canes. So Basically what you want to do is go about halfway. It's kind of hard to judge. Mine went over the side just a little bit and you know what, I was okay with that. So if you want to have it where the full candy is on there by all means, but I kind of centered it in the middle. There we go, we'll put some adhesive sheet on here because we're gluing the whole part down anyway, so we might as well. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with the adhesive sheets, it is these. They are six by 12 sheets. This is actually ripped along the side, so let's work with that. Kind of works nice because then I can leave the sheets in the plastic instead of just sitting around. So what I wanna do is measure this and see how much I need. So we need about two and a half inches by five and five eighths. So let's do two and a half. And you probably don't need to worry too much about the five eighths, but you would have to cut that off at the end. You don't wanna peel it and leave it sticky and have it run through your die cutting machine. Okay, so with these sheets, you can see it's scored. All you have to do is peel that release paper and it's sticky. So we're gonna turn this over and line it up just like so. And if you wanna skip this part, by all means, but I did find that it was a bit of a nuisance to try and glue the candy canes down. So I just need my scissors and on one side I'm going to remove this tab all together. I'm not going to miter those edges, I'm just going to cut right on the line. On the line and then we'll take a little slice of pie out on the inside of the tabs. And same thing here. doesn't need to be a big piece. Now, the other thing I need to do is I still need, oh no, I was gonna say I still need to do some scoring, but I have actually already done that. Look at me, I'm ahead of myself. And the reason I am folding this now is because if you notice on this one, I've got the red piece that comes up. I don't want that on this one. It was actually supposed to get tucked in and I lost sight of that, so. Let's do it on this one. So 
So we can use tear and tape, we can use liquid glue. You could probably use Stamp and Seal Plus, but I'm not sure that it is narrow enough to fit on these little lines three-eighths of an inch. I'm not sure that that would work. So I am going to use liquid glue for my tabs. I am going to use tear and tape on, whoa, the sides. Okay, so we will hold that in place. We'll hold this in place. And if you're unfamiliar with this particular liquid glue, it sets in just a couple of seconds. So let's put a piece of tear and tape along here. Is it along there? Wait, that's not it. Yes, I want it. I'm probably going to do it on the inside and the outside because it's easier to see on the red than it is on the Whisper White. So this part is going to get attached to well, both of them are getting attached to Whisper White. Never mind. And if you can see how difficult it is to get it straight for me, can you imagine if I were doing that on Whisper White? So I never try and pull tear and tape with my fingers. I just pull it off like that. And I will tell you that has never happened before. Okay, so that is going on there. So let's, kind of nervous, I didn't do it this way the first time. So let's put our, we're still gonna have glue worms. We'll put some glue on here instead of tear and tape. And then let's pop this down there. This needs to go in. I'm so scared that I'm doing it the wrong way. Now that wrap doesn't line up exactly square with the box. You can see it's a good thing I use liquid glue because it gives me a few seconds to maneuver it. Oh, I'm so scared, guys. Okay, there's our red piece. So now I want this piece on the inside. I don't like it when the tabs come forward. I want it to look like a finished box. I will tell you, this has actually um, taken a lot more thought than my first one did. Now, the other thing I would suggest is putting your bar in here, and that will give us a little bit of, not leverage, but it will help to keep it square. Okay, so now we can do this side. Just hold on to these pieces to make sure that they are adhering. Oh, look, I put the tear and tape on the wrong side. I still ended up doing it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, look at that. Now we're going to have a piece of tear and tape there. Okay, so I still did that the wrong way. Told you I was scared. I was scared. Okay, so here we're going to take this part off. So this is our adhesive sheet. And like I said, pieces that were sticking before easily come off once that adhesive sheet is off. So I'm going to press this down and not worry too much about these little pieces that are still on there because I can use the putty end of my take your pick tool to get them out of there. I can use the paper piercing tool side to get them out of there. Plenty of options. I can't believe I still did it on the wrong side. And now I've got to figure out how I'm going to, what I'm going to do with this tear and tape that's I'm now stuck with. Wish we had red glimmer paper. Got the red foil, but guess what red it is.
going to have to tell Stampin' Up! we need more Poppy Parade in our Christmas lineup. There's too much real red. There's also not enough or any Granny Green, Granny Apple Green. I have candy canes that I am using for my Facebook Live this week and I'm actually going to give you a sneak peek. I've never done that before for two reasons. One, well actually one reason. I never have my stuff designed when I'm doing the Monday video, but for the last two weeks I've been prepared. Huh, go figure, huh? So I'm going to show you that, and the reason I'm going to show you that is that if you don't watch my Facebook Lives, you wouldn't necessarily know this. But I partner with Tiffany Almeida of Pretty and Paper Crafts in the US, and if you follow her, you know that every Sunday she goes live and she does her coffee and a card, and anyone that places an order with her that week gets the make and takes. Well, not any order. You have to order 35 US, and then you get everything for her make and takes. And I wanted to try that this week, and there's a special reason that I want to try it this week. Uh, so this year, I think Christmas is going to be different. We can probably agree on that, right? So we're not going to be having big family dinners and big family things. So I thought, you know what? We need to do some things that are mailable or deliverable. Like you can drop it off in someone's mailbox and still kind of wish them a Merry Christmas. So I made a couple of make and takes, and if you place, it's not going to be a $35 order because I am in Canada and yeah. <laughs> so if you place a $50 order with me this week, you will get the items that you need for these make and takes, which I will be showing you right away. I'm still trying to get red stuff off my hands. Um, I should do something while I'm talking though, right? So this piece does not want to stick. So you are going to get everything that you need sans the adhesive and the actual stamp sets because you know that I can't stamp images for you. That is against Stampin' Up's compliance. So you will need to have the stamp set or the bundle that I'm using or equivalent. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but you will have to have some product in order to recreate them. So uh, I will show those to you right away. And then I thought about doing the same for this video, but I don't know. Now, when I first got these Hershey candy cane chocolate bars, I saw them at Shoppers Drug Mart. Now, I should say all of this. I did mention I'm in Canada, but I can only sell within Canada. So anyone placing an order with me, it has to be in Canada. And if you are in Canada, you will have a Shoppers Drug Mart and a Walmart. So the first ones that I got were from Shoppers Drug Mart and they were $1.79 plus tax. Well, I was doing my grocery shopping today at Walmart and they are a dollar there. So I thought about getting a whole bunch of them and then thought, no, I'm not gonna do make and takes for my video. But now I'm kind of wondering if I should. So let's have a different special for YouTube for my video. So if you place a $50 order, you will get my Facebook make and takes, which I will show you right away. And if you place, I always have an ordering special for $60 a month. And that this month is the metallic pearls. And if you don't know what those are, they are, mine are opened obviously, but they are these gold and silver pearls. So if you spend $60 before taxes and shipping, you can get those for free from me. Let's say to get the YouTube make and take on top of your order. I'm looking for some rhinestones and they're not in here. If you would like the make and take for this, you are going to place a $100 order and that will include my Facebook and YouTube make and takes. How's that sound? I mean, tis the season, right? We're all spending a lot of money anyways, whether it be for gifts or if it's something for you. So 
along the lines of the whole poppy parade rant that I've had, there are no poppy parade rhinestones. If you have the holiday rhinestones, guess what color they are? Those actually might be cherry cobbler, but they're not poppy parade is the basis, the moral of my story. So I just took my dark poppy parade stamp and blend and colored those in. I've got the end of a sheet of dimensional, so I am just going to move this around. So I will go over the make and take thing again when I show you what those ones are. You're probably like, would you just show them to me already, woman? <laughs> okay, so we're putting a little treat for someone sweet over here. It can be wherever you want, really. And then we are going to take our take your pick tool and we are going to spread these around. Now I will tell you that I like putting them. We might do a couple of big ones too. I like putting the little ones in the middle of the peppermints. So I believe there are three. Oh, there might be four with that one. So in the middle of those little candies, I like to put a rhinestone. There are two small ones. My glue dots on my rhinestones are all wonky. I don't know if you can see that. I'll hold it up shortly. But the glue dots tend to stick out farther than the rhinestones do. Ever have anything like that? I mean, it doesn't bother me enough to do anything about it, but. Okay, let's do a couple of the big ones. I think I need one more middle size one. Can you believe how well these things take color? I don't know that I've ever colored them with red but they are stunning, aren't they? I wanna put something here to keep this guy down. He's driving me nuts. Okay, so now we're just gonna put a couple here, there, anywhere. Uh, I don't like to put them on the white. I may actually end up gluing that part because honestly, it's bugging me. Okay, and we've got a couple that are stuck together here. So let's put one right here, and then we'll peel them apart. Also, did you see how fast I was able to use these? They dry in no time because of the alcohol. Um, where do I want this guy? I think it'll stand out too much if it's on the white, so let's just put that there. And I will show you, when I glued these initially, I just kind of do a little scribble. You don't want to get too much glue, but if you scribble, you catch most of the solid parts. Okie dokie. So I will figure out a fix for my little tear and tape fiasco, but what do you think? This took a lot longer than I thought it would, probably because I'm a chatterbox. But do you love it? Are you going to make some? If you do, I would love to see them. Like I said, I will put my measurements in the description below because that is a lot to remember. Now, time for the make and take. So this, I have to give credit where credit is due. Marissa Alvarez of kitchentablestamper.com. She's a US demonstrator. She goes, she, in her weekly Facebook Live, she made something like this. It was a little bit different. I've changed mine up because I don't like to exactly case someone, but this was definitely inspired from her project this most recent Friday. This one I actually cased myself and I probably cased someone last year, but this was last year's with the um, curvy keepsake box. That was the cute little stamp set. So this year I did Itty Bitty Christmas. So, oh, what yum. And it's got candy cane kisses. Can you see my hand shaking? Okay, so red and white and candy canes is the theme, right? But now, <laughs> I cased myself again. Let me show you the original. So last year, I used the Brightly Gleaming DSP, which was a carryover. And I made this little hot chocolate pack. And all you do is, you don't even have to take that off. It holds a hot chocolate packet. These are from Walmart. And this is salted caramel. I thought it went nicely with those proper stars. 
So this sentiment is retired, but it's also got a little sidekick of Hershey's Kisses. These are the hot chocolate ones. So if you would like to make these, if you'd like to see how I made them, maybe if it wasn't right up here, right? Uh, you can look up, just search Coco on my YouTube channel and you will find that. I think this is melting. Um, and then this is the one that I just made today. So I use the press on stamp set. You can probably see it better on the back and I stamp them diagonally got some staples in here. These spoons are from Dollar Tree in the US. My bestie Tiffany Almeida sent me 42 of these spoons. So I thought what better way to pay it forward than to have them as a make and take that was inspired by her in the first place. She's the one that does the make and take packs. So this one has the extra rich chocolate. I've used press on stamp set. I've used the menagerie mix up. I've used the hippo and friends dies and all of this will be die cut for you. The stamping cannot be done. Uh, the background, like I said, not enough poppy parade. So I actually just used my stamp and blend marker and did that. Used one of those cups that I had stamped on just whisper white. And then this is the warm hugs. Anyone else think of Olaf when you hear that? Anyways, so if you place a $50 order before taxes and shipping with me, you will get the supplies to make these and that includes the candy, hot chocolate, all of it. So you will have everything. The only thing you have to do is stamp and assemble. Okay, I can't stamp these things for you. It's against compliance, but you would have all the die cuts. That's a $50 order. If you place a $60 order, then you get you would get this and those metallic pearls that I was talking about. If you place a $100 order, you are going to get all of that, the metallic pearls, and this make and take, including the chocolate bar, which is backwards. Wanted it all to be the same way. Now, I like how you can see the candy cane right away when you pull it out that way, but I don't want it to be upside down. Okay, so spend $100 before taxes and shipping and you will get all of this and the metallic pearls, okay? So, I thank you so much for watching. If this was the first time ever watching one of my videos, thank you, you made it. Uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button below and you will catch a new video each and every week, typically on Mondays. It's very rare that it's not on a Monday. And that's all. I thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon, my crafty friends. Bye.